¿Qué tal amigos? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today we're going to have a look at the current situation of real estate in this country. Seven years or eight years after the real estate bubble burst, we're going to see uh, a little bit of what's going on. Uh, and we'll also have a chat about uh, whether the crisis has gone away, some of the reasons for the crisis and uh, other things related to that today. So hope you stick around. Now we're just going to go local uh, in the area that I live. I live about 20 kilometers away from the center of Madrid. It's one of these uh, commuter towns, let's say, where the majority of people travel into the city every day to work. And of course they you know, come here and spend their weekends um, uh, here. And this is a place that grew during the bubble. I think it went from something like 20,000 people to 80,000 people in the space of six or seven years. So the growth in this particular part of Madrid was spectacular. And this was something that happened um, all over the country basically there was astronomical growth and the bubble as they called it well actually I don't know whether you would call it a bubble because it was bigger than a bubble I don't know whether there's a word that describes something bigger than a bubble it was something that I've never seen before and the consequence of it uh, are yet to be digested so we're going to have a look at some of the the remnants of that housing bubble and what's happening uh, nowadays as well with regard to the uh, real estate situation here. Now you can see behind me these uh, unfinished houses. These houses were started back in 2006 or 7 and it's one of the signs of the bubble that just burst as I said before and these houses have been sitting here like this in the same exactly the same state for at least the last uh, poof maybe eight years with no sign that they're ever going to be finished and uh, well full of graffiti and uh, people have probably gone through and stolen everything that they can and uh, you know this is a common sight all over Spain um, this is here where we are and if we have a look over here for example over here you can see that this is the finished version okay so these people here were lucky enough to get their uh, house and these people here are still waiting now obviously the builder went out of business he went broke as a result of the the bubble uh, bursting and uh, people were left high and dry I don't know the uh, the situation of the people involved whether they got their money back or, or whether they're still waiting or going through the court process because that's something that we need to keep in mind uh, again here in Spain that the court system is incredibly slow you can literally wait years and years and years to get something like this solved and if you ever get your money back maybe you'll only get 10 20 30 40 percent back it all depends on how lucky you are so that's one of the risks now here we can see again behind me some more uh, buildings that were never finished the builder obviously went broke just before completion and they've been sitting here since 2008 2009 the people either lost their money or they're probably still in the court process to try and get it back there's no sign that they're going to be finished even though they are very very close to being finished we can see that they're full of graffiti the ones on the other side over here over here a little bit just let me find out where I am over here they seem to be finished but the ones at the back aren't finished so that also ha gives problems to the people that are living on the other side because they've got these vacant buildings behind them which are probably full of squatters and um, and um, other uh, illegal activity maybe drug use as well I have no idea but you can see that they're almost finished I mean the they're, they're, they're basically lacking fittings probably uh, but you know very very developed and then just bang gone boom and bust now here's another area that was scheduled to be constructed uh, it's got roads and electricity going through it uh, nothing here but weeds uh, so either the person's waiting to get money from the bank to finish it off or uh, again the person who was going to build it went broke and uh, yeah the 
daisies are growing. Now you would think that after a housing bubble, the size of the one they had in Spain and the subsequent damage to the economy that happened afterwards, I mean seven, eight years of a, of a crisis that doesn't seem to be going away, huge unemployment, structural problems that are unbelievable, you would think that real estate would be measured uh, in 2016. But as we can see here where I live, construction is back. There are buildings going up all over the place at the moment. There's at least seven or eight cranes behind me building houses, building flats. Uh, basically, um, all of the time that's been uh, wasted from a construction or real estate point of view, it's straight back into it. I remember at the time I was giving English classes to a person in one of the Spanish banks and I said to him, is the Spanish economic model ever going to change? or are we just waiting for the real estate uh, sector to come back and we'll go through the same thing again? And he said, we'll go, so we'll go through the same thing again. Spain is like that. Okay, so here we are again with a construction site right behind me here. You can see that there's about uh, 10 or 11 people watching the construction works going on at the moment. People must be absolutely fascinated with this. If I swing around here again, we can see that there's another building over here going up as well. So we've got one here, one there. There's another three cranes down there as well, which are going up. I swing around here, we can see that there's another two or three cranes going up behind my back uh, here as well. And basically we can say that the real estate sector is back in full uh, bloom again in this country for the good or for the bad, who knows what's gonna happen. Basically, uh, I think that it's the only mode of the economy. So along with tourism, there's really nothing else. There's really nothing much more that you can do here. Tourism and construction, that's all there is. That's what people uh, seem to be relying on. We were promised that the Spanish economy was going to diversify. Doesn't seem to be the case. So you lose faith in politicians. I mean, politicians were telling us 10 years ago that Spain was playing in the Champions League of the economy. Politicians were telling us that everything was fine. Politicians were telling, telling us that, it had, that Spain had the best uh, financial system in the world. And if you don't believe me, just watch this video that I'm going to put up here. Quizá España tenga el sistema financiero más sólido de la comunidad internacional. And uh, basically that's it. So people get sucked into this as well. People also rely on home buying to be the number one source of their personal wealth, their personal equity. And this is one of the reasons why people really get sucked into this type of thing. So instead of investing money in businesses and other types of adventures in order to get money, they put it into bricks. Now we can see the price here of these flats, starting, or houses they are. Three to four bedrooms, 223,000 euros. From 223,000 euros. Just zoom in there, so we can have a better look at the price. From 223,000 euros. So that's what you're gonna be paying for a, a house, semi-detached house in, uh, the outskirts of Madrid. So there we go. That's uh, a little bit of what's happening from a real estate construction point of view in Spain today, 2016. It's been completely gone, that sector, for the last eight years. It's now coming back, as we saw there, with a vengeance. And we'll see what the future holds for uh, the country as far as the economy goes. Unemployment is still very high in Spain. Uh, youth unemployment still up around the 50%. Uh, normal unemployment around 20, 21, 22 perhaps maybe, black economy, 25% of the economy at the moment. So Spain still has its problems and uh, hopefully we don't go back to the model that we had before, although you know a lot of people made money, a lot of people seem to be happy during that period of time, but uh, we'll see how things uh, end up and uh, hopefully we won't get sucked back into the, into the uh, construction vacuum, let's say. So that's more or less it from me. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below. Have a nice day and uh, enjoy. Bye.